Good day, everyone. Welcome to exercise 4E, dividing algebraic terms. Now, before we begin uh, learning how to divide algebraic terms or revising our knowledge on that, uh, as we recall, in the last lesson, we learned about multiplying algebraic terms. So multiplying and dividing are a little similar in terms of the first few steps. So firstly, being able to expand your different terms and then after that, reorganize or regroup them uh, according to numbers as well as your letters. Uh, but on the last stage, that will be a different thing. So if we were to recap, let's say, for example, if we have 5x times 7a, right? So firstly, we will uh, begin to expand 5x. We all know that that is 5 times x, right? And if that multiplication sign in the middle, leaving that there, 7a is just 7 times a. Right, so after we've expanded that, we will then begin to regroup. So where we have all our numbers up the front and then after that, letters that follow after. So we have 5 times 7 because there's a 7 here, bringing that to the front. No other numbers, so therefore we'll place the rest of the other letters in alphabetical order. So A times X. Right, so counting that you have uh, the same amount of terms, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, that we have expanded, 1, 2, 3, 4, so we haven't missed out anything. And then after that, finally, uh, simplifying that, so that will be 5 times 7, giving you 35. Right, and then after that, AX, that just follows. Alright, so we don't have to write the multiplication sign in the middle between the letters and the numbers, because that is understood as uh, multiplication between 35 and A, as well as A and X. All right, okay, so we're dividing algebraic uh, terms today. All right, we'll first begin to unpack our understanding of uh, how we can express the division of um, our algebraic terms as a fraction first, and then after that, we will expand that. And then after that, we will look for the lowest or highest common factor before cancelling out and simplifying that fraction over there. All right, we'll go through the steps together in the next couple of examples there. But first, uh, let us attempt the show your understanding section. So it does test your understanding on how to express uh, algebraic terms as a fraction when it comes to dividing that. Question one, a division operation and a fraction are similar. So they are stated up front, division and fractions are pretty similar. Represent 4 divided by 5 as a fraction. So we all know if this is the case, 4 divided by 5, 4 should be on your numerator, divided by your vinculum here, just represents that divided by uh, sort of um, uh, operation here, and then followed by 5 on your denominator, right? So knowing that this is the standard, your first number that comes first, that is on the numerator, right? And then after that, number 5 will be your denominator. Okay, question 2. Division problems that contain pronumerals can also be written as a fraction in a similar manner. Represent 4x divided by y as a fraction. The same thing like y is like what we've done in question 1. If it's 4x divided by y, 4x is before the division sign, right? So therefore that is our numerator. So 4x divided by y, y on the denominator. Right, simple as that. We do not have to simplify that because there are no common factors there between your numerator and your denominator. Okay, question three. Using your answers to question one and two, how would you explain to a classmate the method for representing a division problem as a fraction? You may like to provide an example to assist with your explanation. Right, so I'll get you to pause this video right now. You can have a chat with your uh, classmate or person that's sitting beside you, uh, just to have that discussion on using answers to, um, to questions one and two, how would you explain that uh, in terms of that method for representing a division problem as a fraction? Now, after your discussion, you would realize that with 4x divided by y as a fraction, that's 4x divided by y, uh, the dividend in the division statement becomes the numerator, right, of the fraction, and the divisor in the division statement becomes the denominator, right? So if we were to label things out, this over here, 4x is your dividend. All right, and then after that, your y will be your divisor over there, all right? So you can put that in terms of uh, x as you write that out in terms of your uh, answers to that.
Okay, question four. Consider the expression 18xy divided by 24wxz. Express the term in the numerator and the term in the denominator in expanded form. So this is uh, very familiar to us in terms of expanding that. So firstly, writing out your expression 18xy over 24 wx and z. And that's also the same thing as well with your first step when you have a division of um, uh, of algebraic terms, express that as a fraction if it's not already in a fraction format. So that's your first step. Second step is to expand that. So expanding at 18 times x times y on the numerator over 24 times w times x times z on the denominator. Right, they haven't asked you to um, solve that at all or start to spot your common factor, so we'll just leave it as that with what the question has asked. Number five, identify that factor common to the, to the numerator and the denominator. Right, so with that, just looking at the numbers first, between 18 and 24, what is the common um, factor that you can see between 18 and 24? Right, so if you were to have uh, your multiplication tables, you will try to uh, list them out. So if it's 18, you will have 1 times 18, you have 2 times 9, you have uh, 3 times 6, right? 4, is there 4? No, 5, no, and then it goes back up to 6 once more. And then after that, on 24, you have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, right? Uh, 4 times 6. And then we have all the other numbers here. Right, so in terms of listing your co common factor, right, if you were to uh, have the highest common factor, of course, that we're looking at, the highest common factor is 6 over here. Right, so in terms of your numbers, 6 will be a factor that is common to both the numerator and the denominator. Now, looking at the letters, we have x and y on the top, as well as w, x, and z on the bottom. So you have x going up in the top top and bottom as well for your numerator and your denominator. So this means that 6x right, is your common factor to the numerator and the denominator. All right, that's the answer. Okay, next page here. All right, last question on the show your understanding. For question six, the fraction can be simplified by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by the common factor. So putting all together, we have identified in Question five, that 6x is our common factor. Remember that dividing by the highest common factor will ensure the fraction in uh, the fraction is in simplest form. So I simplify the expression in question four. In question four, we had the expression of 18xy over 24wxz. Uh, okay, and then we expanded that. So that's 18 times x times y over 24 times w times x times z right so they have said um trying to spot your common factor so your common factor is 6x so therefore we'll start to take off six so six going into 18 right that will leave you with three six going into 24 that will leave you with four right and then for the x as well you do know that with your powers of x they are one and one uh so x to the power of one on the numerator x to the power of 1 on the denominator, so you can easily cancel that out. Now, if you put into practice your index law as well, and I'll just sidetrack, so index law for division of um, indices with the same basis. So let's say, for example, if it's x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 1, you will just basically, and this is only when you have the same base. So this same base is x here. All right, so you have that same base, you just write that there. But in terms of your powers, you go 2 minus 1. So you're subtracting your powers uh, from there. Right after that, you can see that that is just x to the power of 1. Don't have to write 1 over there because usually for the power of 1, we just leave it as it is. Okay, it's the same thing as well if I were to break things up in terms of x squared divided by x. Right, from here, right, breaking it down to just that fraction alone, you do know that that is x times x right over x so therefore you're just cancelling out common factors and you are just left with x as that answer so the same as that so now you know your shortcut to that
Okay, and then lastly, the question for question six, it does, to, uh, it does ask you to simplify, right? So you just simplify whatever that you have here. So just focusing on the numerator first, so whatever that's on top, we have three as a coefficient, right? No x there because it cancels out and then followed by y. Okay, so just 3y on the numerator, followed by your denominator, which is 4 times w times z. All right, so just writing that out, 4wz. Double checking to see that it is uh, in the most simplified um, form in itself. Sometimes your numbers, you could simplify it further and you can carry on through in the next couple of steps. Right, other than that, this will be your final answer here. Now let's try a couple of questions together, okay, as we uh, try to work on division uh, algebraic terms from here. So let's just do two questions and then after that uh, you're off on your way to um, uh, complete the rest of your questions in this exercise. So um, just to recap, your first step to whenever you uh, divide algebraic terms or you're trying to uh, simplify that true division of algebraic terms, express the division of algebraic terms as a fraction. Okay, we need it in the fraction first. And then after that step to expand your algebraic terms on the numerator and your denominator. Next, identify your common factors. All right, so like what we have done in the earlier part, which is 6x, it's a common factor between the numerator and the denominator. Cross them out. Yeah, cross out your uh, common factors. And then after that, your following uh, final step is to simplify that, right? So all fractions need to be simplified. Okay, so let's just have a look at question 4a here. We have 12d divided by 4d. Because this is already in a fraction format, we don't have to, or we can sort of skip uh, step one because that is already given to us. Now step two, so that is to expand. Uh, so on the numerator, we have 12d, that just means 12 times d. All right, expanding that over 4 times g on the denominator. Right, so once you're done with expanding, that is where you look for uh, highest common factor. So firstly, we'll have a look at the numbers. So in numbers, we have 12 on the numerator and 4 on the denominator. Common factor will be 4 for that, right? So if 4 going to 4, I'll get 1. 4 going to 12, I get 3. All right, D and G are absolutely different methods. So we don't have any common factors between them. So if you have no other common factors, this is then now where we simplify the fraction itself. So putting it all together on the numerator, we have 3d. All right, and that is all for your numerator. Put a line through for your division of it. And then after that, you have 1 times g, which is just g. All right, so look carefully in terms of uh, where your numbers and letters should be at. What is it, the numerator? or the denominator, so please don't mix that up. Right, and then uh, on the second question, uh, second and last question here, we have part E, 9G H square, 27 GH, right? So it is already in fraction format, so now we'll begin to expand that. So on the numerator, we have 9 times G times, because that's H square, we will multiply H twice. All right, so expanding that fully. Then after that, on the denominator, we have 27 times G times H. Right, so once you have expanded that, looking for your highest common factor. So just on the numbers here, we have 9 and 27. So highest common factor is 9, right? So 9 going into 9, we have 1. 9 going into 27, we have 3. Right, now that we have factorized the number portion of uh, the algebraic term on the numerator and the denominator, let's have a look at the letters in itself. So we have one G on the numerator and another G on the denominator. So we can easily cancel that out right, in terms of our common factors. And for the letter H, we do have one on top, one for one that we'll cancel out. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, more H's at the bottom as well. So therefore, with that uh, H, we'll just leave that on the numerator. So the last step, we'll be simplifying that. We have on the numerator 1 times H, right? So in that sense, that's just H on the numerator. Denominator, we have 3. Right? So just 3 over there without any letters. And there you have it in terms of your answer. 
Right, so hopefully this has given you a good enough example in terms of attempting uh, algebraic terms or uh, simplifying any uh, algebraic sort of division uh, terms from there uh, through the methods of uh, firstly expressing your algebraic uh, terms as a fraction when you have a division operation there, followed by expanding on the next step. And then after that, identifying and crossing out your common factors, right? Factorizing that basically between your numerators and your denominators. And finally, simplifying your final answers. Thank you.